hello uh my hair first of all is just it's always wild like is this a really a video if my hair isn't just like all over the place like <laughs> what is this side bun thing doing i don't know anyways i hope you guys are doing well welcome back to the channel i'm currently having a little snack i actually ate not that long ago but i'm eating again because my period is coming up and when i get close to my period i get this like unquenchable hunger where like i need to eat all the time and i just want to keep snacking and shoving food in my body so that's what i'm doing i mean i try and control myself a little bit but like at the same time i don't know what it is i just feel hungry all the time if you guys relate please let me know down below that i'm not the only one out there anyways we are going to do a nighttime routine and i mean like I've been going all day, so it's gonna be kind of a chill night routine. We're gonna go work out actually, so I mean, I got a whole story to tell you guys. Anyways, mostly I don't usually work out in the evening unless it's during the week and I haven't had a chance to work out in the morning or in the early afternoon. I will work out in the evening. And today I'm doing just a cardio session. I've actually already worked out today, but there's a whole story that goes with this, so bear with me, buckle in, let's do this. I talked in my last video about how I've been adding in new exercises into my workout routine for my shoulder. We're like progressing, we're doing good. But I think I was going a little too aggressive um, for that. And my shoulder has just been really like hurting quite a bit. So I've decided to kind of like step on the brakes, bring it back a little bit, slow down and doing a lot less more wads and doing more controlled movements because most of the time when you do a wad you're a little less controlled and you're going a lot at a like a lot faster of a pace whereas like if you're taking it back you're doing more controlled movements you know you're keeping things in control you're not tiring out and bottoming out too fast so i haven't been doing as much cardio as i want and since david's not here i have a lot more free time and those two things together i've been doing two sessions. So that is what I'm doing. I'm doing some biking tonight. I usually switch in between biking and running. I'm not gonna be doing running. Here's another story. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing running because I actually hurt my Achilles today. So I was doing like an EMOM and I was doing box jump overs. And most of the time, like 80% of the time, I will step down. I never do any rebounds because that's really like a lot of stress on your Achilles and it's actually really not good to be rebounding all the time. It just puts a lot of stress on your ankles. And today I was practicing my rebounding, which I like never do. And uh, yeah, I did my first like kind of set in my EMOM. And after the box jumps, I was like, okay, my ankle kind of hurts. What did I just do? There wasn't like any specific thing. I was like, oh, it's starting to ache. In the end, I kind of hurt it. Like I hurt my Achilles area while uh, working out. So we're just sticking to the bike tonight. We're not gonna put any stress on the Achilles. We're keeping it chill. I have a rest day tomorrow, so that's pretty good. And uh, I'll be able to kind of chill on the shoulder, chill on the ankle and all that jazz. So currently watching the West Coast Classic, eating my food, which is just some vegan puts in cheese and some blackberries. Odd mix, but it is what it is. I'm gonna fill up my water and then I'm gonna go hop on the bike and do some cardio. is all done I'm gonna roll out my legs because they're very tight right now even my upper body gets a little tight I uh, was on there for just over 40 minutes I did 500 calories and I kind of do this like little routine I mean I change it every time I mean sometimes the calories will differ but I usually do well today I did it in sets of 50 so I did at level 3 I did 20 calories at level five, I did 20 calories. And then at level seven, I did 10 calories. So every once in a while, I'll change things up. But today I decided to do that. So just over 40 minutes, about 500 calories. My legs are shot right now. They're pretty tired. So it was a good session. I've got my sweat in. Time to roll out the legs because they're really stiff and we don't want them to be even more stiff. <laughs>
It's now my favorite time of the evening and it's time to cook supper. And now, for supper, I'm feeling really lazy, honestly. I think I'm just gonna make like a salad with some rice. I don't know, I'm really craving like rice, like sticky rice, I guess, if that makes sense. Jasmine rice, is that it? Like the one that clumps together really good. Uh, I'm craving that right now. So oh, I want some of that. I got my tofu out. It's draining and I don't really have that many vegetables. I, if I had broccoli, I'd probably just do rice, tofu, and broccoli because I'm feeling so freaking lazy tonight and not creative whatsoever. But I really only have like cucumber and like lettuce. So we're gonna make like this like makeshift salad to get some sort of greens in and finish uh, the food that needs to be finished before the rest of the week starts. So let's get to cooking some supper because the girl's hungry of course i'm just starving all the time it's so bad oh. is served. I actually um, missed filming half of my doing of the supper because I just wasn't recording of course. Anyways, so we have our salad here. We have our rice on the side. We have our tofu here. The tofu I just cooked in balsamic vinaigrette and then I have my favorite sesame sticks. They're not the healthiest, but they're so, so tasty. Then we have some cucumber, some pepper. I put some vegan Parmesan cheese on top and then topped it also with some balsamic salad dressing. So I'm having that and I'm also having a, a root beer Zevia. My favorite soda to drink is root beer. Love it. It is like oh, so good. And uh, I love Zevia. I find Zevia probably the best one because I find regular soda just super, super sugary sometimes. So yeah, having that with some water, of course. And I'm going to eat this. This is full of carbs and I'm just so excited because your girl, I'm just like, in the biggest carb mood ever like oh love carbs and especially near my period gotta love them so i'm going to enjoy this all by my lonesome well i have the dogs behind me but still watching the west coast classic of course they just finished the female event so it's gonna finish soon and i'll have to probably hop onto netflix or something play something in the background while i finish eating supper I just took a shower, my hair is all washed, I was feeling kind of gross, so I was like, you know what, I don't want to sit in my filth anymore, so I took a shower, of course, um, hair's all clean, and now I'm just going to do my skincare routine because I just obviously don't feel like doing it later, and my face is nice and clean right now, so we're going to do it right now. First, actually, I'm going to just quickly dampen my face. Also, if you hear jumping around... It's just Lily. It's normal now. Anyways, get my hands damp and then I just dampen my face because I'm putting on hyaluronic acid and you want to have your face dampen before you put it on. That's just how it works. So we got all ordinary products. I love the ordinary. I find that the products work really well for my face and I'm not some skincare guru but these products have been working for my face. So you pretty much saw my face, my skincare, my evening routine in my video talking about my body and pretty much it's the exact same thing. It does differ from day to day. Next I'm going in with niacinamide. I never know how to say that. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. I'm putting this all over the chin, especially the jawline because my jaw has been breaking out like crazy. I, it's getting better now. It's healing finally but yeah, I went through like a good month, month and a half of just like huge breakouts along my jawline. So I've been putting that along there. Anyways, in my previous video of my skincare routine, I used retinol. And in between days, like I'll switch days in and out. So one day I'll do retinol and the next day I'll do the vitamin C 30% in silicone. I like doing this because it's a good brightener for the skin. And I kind of switched that in and out because retinol and this can be very harsh. And so... 
we just do it one day for one, one day for the other. And this one definitely, like I said, is harsh and it can tingle the skin a little bit, but I find it does really brighten my skin and makes my skin look really, really nice. So I use it, I switch it in and out every other day with the retinol. And last but not least, I'm using my organic rose hip seed oil. It is so soothing to put on the skin. It just like makes my skin feel really nice. Good moisturizer, especially in the evening. Obviously, I wouldn't really necessarily put this on during the day, but yeah, that's pretty much my skincare routine. Also, I've got to put on some chapstick. This is just some like natural chapstick from a local artist or whatever. I don't know, I got it in a little care package. I like them, they're pretty good. Anyways, put that on last because my lips have been dry with like the odd weather. Like we've had really hot, really cool, like it's been like fluctuating quite a bit. And with AC and everything, I find just my lips dry out, which is not fun. So that is all pretty much for my skincare routine. We're looking a little glowy, a little shiny from the oil, but you know, it absorbs by the morning and we're looking good. So that is pretty much my basic nighttime skincare routine. So for dessert this evening, we're having this. It's a popsicle, there's one left. This one is kiwi, banana, and mint flavor. Sounds really weird, but it's actually really good and I really enjoy these popsicles because they're, it's like a smoothie and a popsicle. I find them good and delicious, so I'm gonna have this for dessert. I'm like really tired right now. I'm crashing really hard. I like, so, <laughs> little story. My little dog here, bless you Kona, my little dogs are uh, very afraid of thunder. And last night, I was awoken at like 3 a.m. to like a huge boom that like jolted me out of bed and I like jumped up and it freaked the dogs out. I had to come downstairs, hang out with them. Luckily, it went really fast, like it wasn't a long storm, so they were able to calm down. I didn't have to give them any calming pills because usually I have to. They just ended up calming down pretty fast because the storm passed really fast but I couldn't fall asleep after. So I was up until almost 6 a.m., which like, it's kind of long and I'm like really tired because I fell asleep for like a little bit. Like I fell back asleep for maybe 40 minutes, 50 minutes, something like that. And um, your girl's really tired. So I've been going pretty much all day, worked out this morning. I've been in the garden and I've been running around cleaning, doing all the stuff. And now I'm tired, I'm crashing and yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna chill out for the rest of the evening because that's all I want to do right now is watch some Netflix and kind of let's go fat pee pee Oy. there's my big boy pee pee time ready for bed and I'm gonna sit and talk with David for a bit until I fall asleep so that's pretty much what I'm doing for the evening oh yeah I also have my wind blanket that I like to hold on me oh David's calling so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up it really helps the channel and if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button down below you guys know where it is and don't forget to be unstoppable and I'll see you guys in the next video bye Summer days burn me out, love just brings me down Cold inside like when she leaves, I slowly leave the ground Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance Love me like you used to, so we can learn again The skin is getting round, baby